Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Coronation Street reveals Ken's plan to bring down Rowan and get his 40,000 pounds back in twist. Coronation Street fans have worked out how Ken Barlow will take down the Institute and get his 40,000 pounds back. Earlier this year, viewers were introduced to the mysterious self-improvement group, the Institute. The cult, led by Rowan Cunliffe, played by Emrys Cooper, caught the eye of Cobble's resident Lean Battersby, Jane Danson, and it didn't take long for her to join. Much to the concern of fiancé Nick Tilsley, Ben Price, and sister Toya Habib, Georgia Taylor, who have all shared their concerns over Lean. What's more, in recent weeks Amy Barlow, El Mulvaney, has also shown an interest in the group, much to the horror of Nick and Toya. Rowan then ended up sweet-talking Amy and persuaded her to put her £40,000 inheritance money towards the organization. This week, Amy asked Grandfather Ken, William Roach, to see if he would release the funds left for her by her late grandmother Deirdre. Ken was hesitant at first, but later changed his tune. However, later on, things took a dramatic turn when Amy attended a malware session at the cult. In harrowing scenes, Members shouted abuse at a blindfolded Amy, who ended up running out distraught. She later changed her mind about investing, but was less shaken when Ken told her he had already sent the money across. Things went from bad to worse when Annie was told it would be difficult to retrieve the funds, because had already landed with the Institute's parent company. A disgusted Steve McDonald, Simon Gregson, and Tracy, Kate Ford, then turned to the police for help. However, they were told there would be no case to answer as Amy had handed over the cash willingly. But now, viewers reckon Ken is about to get one up on Rowan and the Institute and attempt to take them down. On social media, fans pointed out how the other week, Ken had won £50,000 on his premium bonds. And viewers are certain he used this to pay Amy and the Institute, not her inheritance. Over on Facebook, one person said, Ken's premium bond win has not been mentioned since that phone call. I reckon Ken opted to use his winnings to pay the Institute. He could see how happy Amy was, but he didn't want the inheritance from Deidre to be put at risk. Perhaps. Someone else replied, Well done. I think you could be right. A third also added, Good shout. Ken's actions sure seemed that way too. Echoing their thoughts, another viewer wrote, Ooh, never thought of that.